a letter pretending it was from the Miffs. And I'm going to read you that letter in a minute. And the plan today is that we are going to think about how we can reply to that letter. Okay, so we're going to have to think about what kind of things you include in a letter, what you might want to say to them, what, what you might want to ask them. Dear Primary Three Fours at St Agatha's, Hello, it is us, the Miffs. We are making contact with you once again as we have an exciting invitation to tell you all about. Our leader, the Miff Inspector, has, ingre has agreed to allow us to invite you to our planet. We have talked of your P34 class and nothing else since we heard back from you and we're desperate to meet you, each and every one of you. Please reply to our invitation and let us know if you would like to meet up with us so we can make arrangements as soon as possible. Yours sincerely, the Miffs. So, first question. What are we going to have to use to reply to this? Because remember, even though I've written it's from the Miffs, who's it really from? Yeah. So what are we going to have to use? Our... Absolutely, our imagination, Robert. Okay? And we're going to have to write a reply to the Miffs making sure that we answer all their questions. What's the most important question here? I really want to go to um, to tour them um, around here and if you want to go in their space pod. Yes, if we want to show them around here and if we want to go in their <coughs> space pod. So, we've got to plan the layout of the letter because it's got to look right. And we've got to think of the best words that we can choose to describe what we want to see. But what types of words do you use, Kesia? Oh, adjectives. adjectives. And what do adjectives describe? What kind of words do adjectives describe? Can you remember? Look up on the on the wall there. What do adjectives describe? Robert? Um, yes, naming things. Nouns. Look at that. Look at all these things that you could use to make it more interesting. You've got verbs with adjectives. So you talk about what you've been doing and how you've been doing it. Nouns, talking about yourselves or what you might show them, Leon, with adjectives to describe them. So you've done your main bit of the letter. You've got your address. The date. Dear, and you've got your hello, you've got the nouns and adjectives, the verbs and adverbs, rounding off, and you're sincerely. You are going to speak to your partner, trying to think of a way to start your letter. Oh, the whole class would love to enter your crafty space pod. That's wonderful. Very descriptive. Uh, Robert, what about you? Thank you for inviting us to your space pod. Oh, that's a nice way to start. So you're, you know, you're showing them that you appreciated their letter and you're saying thank you. Very good way. You're a tourist guide, remember? What are you going to show these myths when they come? Well, rather than telling me, I want you to turn to your partner and I want you to tell them what you would show them and how you would describe these things to them. You're the tourist guide, you are showing them what you want them to see. What you think would be interesting for them? Yes. The road. Now, the school. And in the adverbs, you can show them maybe how to run slowly or run quickly. It's got those words there for you. Yeah. Um, classroom and like how we were trying to give them the messages and like how we were getting the answer, answers. Parts of a letter. Who can remember? 
A creature of verbs and nouns. An adjectives and verbs. Adjectives and adverbs. Very important. We haven't gone over today yet, but we will have to next time. Round off. Round off our letter and, and say you're sincere. sincere. You're sincerely. I think actually the assessment of the children's work, when they're evaluating their own work um, and each other's, uh, we've used it for reading and for writing and in writing in particular it breaks all the important points down so that they know exactly what they need in the writing and rather than looking through loads of words they look at the symbol and say oh right I've got to check for that and kids, well none of us are good at checking our own work but when it's symbolised I think it makes it a lot easier for them. I like to be good at reading and writing and drawing. I like about them because they help you link words and because they show you the pictures about spelling and finger spaces and that. I think probably children who struggle with language, with a lot of words, the, the pictures are just an instant instruction to them about what they have to do or where they have to go. I like the symbols and because they help us um, in the morning stop what we're doing. And, and uh, it just, it's now something that we can do without, really. Mm -hmm.